22-year-old Jared Loeffner wore an orange jumpsuit and a wry smile as he appeared before a federal judge today in Phoenix. He didn't speak, but through his attorney pleaded not guilty to the attempted assassination of Representative Gabrielle Giffords and the attempted murder of two of her aides. When District Judge Larry Burns asked if there was any question about Loeffner's ability to understand the case against him, defense attorney Judy Clark answered, we're not raising any issues at this time. Judge Burns was brought in from San Diego after Arizona judges recused themselves from the case. He runs a very tight courtroom. Uh, there will be no inordinate delays in the, in the case. He will make sure that things run smoothly. Even as Loeffner was in court, Gabrielle Giffords remained in the intensive care unit at a Houston hospital, unable to move to a nearby rehabilitation facility because of excess fluid still draining from her brain, a setback her doctors first revealed here Friday. She's going to stay in the hospital for a little bit longer. Still, even in the ICU, Giffords is undergoing daily therapy, gaining some strength on her partially paralyzed right side. It's improving. It's, uh, we're continuing to assess that. Among those killed by the gunfire, nine-year-old Christina Taylor Green, brought to the event by her neighbor, Susie Heilman, who was also shot three times. And then I remember lying on the ground, holding Christina's hand and looking at her, and telling her to stay with me and... Not make me do this alone, and sweetie, I love you, and stay here, and Christina, Christina. <laughs> While the arraignment was held in Phoenix, future court proceedings will likely move to Tucson to make things easier on the victims and their families. Meanwhile, Gifford's husband told the Houston Chronicle today that his wife could be out of the ICU by the end of this week. Katie? Don Teague, Don, thanks very much.